Welcome to Popcorn Playback. Today we have an action filled recap of F9, The Fast Saga. Before we get to the storyline, like and subscribe for more recaps and have a great day. 1989, Jack Toretto, JD Pardo, is embarking on a revetting race with his talented sons, Jacob, Finn Cole, and Dom, Vinny Bennett, supporting him as part of his crew. Dom stands up for himself and addresses the crew members who were bothering his dad because of racer Kenny Linder's action. However, Jack advises Dom to focus on more positive things and not let them affect him. Jack triumphantly returns to the track, ready to showcase his skills. Unfortunately, Linder accidentally clips Jack's car, resulting in an unexpected mid-air explosion. Despite the setback, Dom remains hopeful for the future. Present day, we are surrounded by Dom, Vin Diesel, and Letty, Michelle Rodriguez, enjoy a peaceful life in the beautiful countryside with little Brian, Isaac, and Emmanuel Haltain, creating precious memories together. As Dom eagerly shows Brian how to work a tractor, they excitedly spot a car approaching their home. Dom and Letty excitedly arm themselves, only to realize it's just Roman, Tyrese Gibson, Tej, Chris Ludacris Bridges, and Ramsey, Natalie Emmanuel, joining them. They joyfully inform them that Mr. Nobody, Kurt Russell, was on an exciting mission to retrieve a top secret device and track down Cypher, Charlie's Theron. However, this plane unfortunately crashed on an island. The trio kindly requests Dom and Letty's assistance, understanding that they are prioritizing their growing family. However, the two enthusiastically agree to go along. Later that night, after putting little Brian to bed, Dom and Letty have a positive discussion about the mission and how Brian and Mia successfully left this line of work when they became parents. Letty acknowledges that they may not be exactly like Brian and Mia, but they are confident in their own abilities and strength. She embarks on an exciting motorcycle ride, while Dom eagerly reviews the video of Mr. Nobody. To his delight, he spots a familiar cross symbol that he vividly remembers from a postcard he received of Mexico some time ago. The gang embarks on an exciting adventure to the beautiful island of Monte Quinto and discovers the intriguing wreckage of the plane. They successfully uncover half of the device just before a team of gunmen unexpectedly fire upon the gang. The heroes successfully navigate through the minefield, eliminating some of the gunmen, and Roman narrowly avoids any harm from being crushed or blown up. He joins Tej and Ramsey as they skillfully navigate over a down bridge just in time, narrowly avoiding any danger. Dom and Letty are pleasantly surprised when they catch sight of Jacob, now played by John Cena, swiftly grabbing the device and skillfully taking it away. The two bravely pursued and successfully apprehended him near the edge of a cliff, just as a remarkable magnetized drone swoops in and lifts Jacob up. Dom and Letty fearlessly drive off the cliff, skillfully grabbing onto a rope from the bridge and miraculously land on another cliffside, escaping harm. As the heroes go home, Letty excitedly shares with the rest of the team that Jacob is Dom's long-lost brother. A flashback reveals the opportunity for closure after Jack's passing. Linda came by and made some playful comments about Jack, and then playfully engaged with Dom. Dom stood up for himself and defense his rights, but unfortunately, the situation escalated and he ended up facing the consequences. While working as a mechanic there, he had the opportunity to meet Leo and Santos, who mentioned the incident that unfortunately took Jack's life. They also mentioned that Jacob was the last person who worked on the car before the incident occurred. After Dom was released, he eagerly went down to the meetup spot with Mia, Letty, Vince and the rest of their crew. They were all determined to challenge Jacob to a race after confronting him over what happened to their father. Dom told Jacob that if he won, he would have the opportunity to keep driving and explore new horizons. During the race, both Toretto skillfully used NOS to enhance their cars. However, Jacob's early stage gave Dom the opportunity to secure a victory leading Jacob to make a quick exit. Jacob has the exciting opportunity to meet with his partner, Otto, fewer Sted Rasmussen. At their base, they are ensuring the safety of Cypher in a secure glass cage. She is well aware of Jacob's determination to surpass Dom, but when she presents him with an opportunity to team up with her and seek revenge, Jacob politely declines, expressing his self-assurance in pursuing his own path. He generously shares half of the device with Cypher, and she excitedly informs him and Otto that the other half they are looking for is in Edinburgh. The gang goes to their hideout, where Dom feels empowered to take on the mission alongside Jacob. Meanwhile, Roman excitedly muses to Tej and Ramsey that they must be invincible because they managed to come out of numerous insane scenarios, practically unscathed, and they can't help but feel hopeful about their future adventure. Later, Mia joyfully joins everyone because she still deeply cares for Jacob. Ramsey then excitedly shares with everyone that the device is called Project Ares, which has the incredible potential to access any system and could empower someone like Jacob to have 
have control over things like the world's cache of nuclear weapons. It is also excitingly discovered that there were prints belonging to one person among Mr. Nobody's research, Han. Don then excitedly notes that the postcard he got of Mexico was sent the day Han supposedly died, and it has a stamp on it from Tokyo, where Han said he would go with Giselle. Dom eagerly sets out to find Buddy, Michael Brooker, a cherished family friend who has a long history of working with Jack. Dom is aware that Buddy kindly took Jacob in after he went into exile, and Mia also had a brief period of keeping in touch with him until he mysteriously disappeared. Buddy excitedly informs Dom that Jacob is going to be in London, and he sincerely hopes that Dom finds peace. Mia and Letty embark on an exciting journey to Tokyo to reunite with Han. After tirelessly searching, they finally come across an apartment adorned with a Mexican flag, reminding them of Han's fondness of comparing Tokyo to his own version of Mexico, a sanctuary for outlaws. They discover a young woman named El and is Hawaii in the apartment who is familiar with them and bravely alerts them when armed thugs launch an attack. Mia and Letty confidently take on the goons, ensuring Al's safe escape from the apartment. Han skillfully eliminates the remaining gunmen with precision using a sniper rifle. Rome and Tej are thrilled to find Sean Boswell, Lucas Black, along with Eddie Hu, Jason Tobin, and Twinkie, Bow Wow, and eagerly ask for their assistance on behalf of Dom. They are enthusiastically working on a Pontiac Fiero with a rocket strapped to it, embracing the excitement and potential for an incredible adventure. After testing it out, the trio is thrilled that it made it far enough without blowing up, and then the car unexpectedly experiences a minor setback. Dom successfully arrives in London and has an unexpected encounter with Queenie Shaw, Hale and Mirren, right after she pulls off a daring jewelry store heist. They successfully escape from the authorities as Dom eagerly asks Quinny if she has any updates on Jacob. She excitedly tells him that she has heard of him and his crew turning up in Edinburgh. Quinny excitedly drops Dom off at a magnificent mansion where Otto is hosting an incredible party. Dom successfully gains entrance to confront Jacob and he courageously asks his older brother to leave, knowing that he can finally address the past and find a way to move forward. Dom is able to leave when an armed team, who may be working for Otto, shows up. Dom is taken into custody, but it turns out that the team is led by an old friend named Laysa, Artaby, who comes to Dom's rescue and helps him get out. Roman, Tej, and Ramsey arrive in London just in time to foil Jacob and Otto's heist. Ramsey notices that the security cameras are experiencing a temporary glitch, which indicates that Jacob's team is actively working on improving their security measures. Roman and Tej encounter some large truck drivers and bravely confront them based on Roman's intuition. It's amazing that they're driving a truck with an electromagnetic field, which has helped Jacob discover the second piece of Ares. He confidently starts making his escape via a zipline, but Dom quickly spots him and eagerly chases after him. Roman and Tej fearlessly takes on more goons inside the truck, showcasing their incredible skills. Meanwhile, Ramsey valiantly takes control of the truck, maneuvering through the bustling streets of London with determination, overcoming obstacles along the way. Dom successfully catches Jacob and engages in an intense fight, showcasing his determination. Although Jacob manages to escape in his own car, Dom's unwavering spirit remains unshaken. After Dom joins the other three, they cleverly use the truck to effortlessly pull Jacob's car towards them. After this temporary setback, Otto and his men return to their base. Cypher playfully teases him and confidently states that this is an exciting moment where the villain encounters a temporary challenge, but fear not, because she has a brilliant solution up her sleeve. The gang welcomes Jacob into their custody. Mia and Letty joyfully returns with Han and Elle to the hideout, where the guys are overjoyed to see Han once more. He joyfully shares the circumstances surrounding his rebirth after Jacil's passing. He ventured to Tokyo, where he was recruited by Mr. Nobody due to his past collaboration with Giselle and his trust in Han. After Deckard Shaw came into the picture, they saw it as an exciting opportunity to stage his death. Elle's parents bravely contributed to Project Ares, and the legacy lives on, inspiring her even as a child. Han willingly came to protect her because her blood is the vital component needed to activate Ares. Otto and his goons bravely confront the hideout. Here, it is excitingly revealed that Jacob was once an agent of Mr. Nobody's, but has now gone rogue. He also shares with Dom the surprising information that their father had actually planned to throw the race that day to help the family overcome their debts. It's heartwarming to know that their father trusted Jacob enough to ask him to tamper with the car, but they kept it a secret from Dom to preserve his positive perception of their father. Jacob never could have predicted the unexpected turn of events that followed. The heroes bravely confront Otto's men while he and Jacob successfully escape with L and the second piece of Ares. As the majority of the team makes the way out, Don courageously remains behind and skillfully pulls on the chains, successfully bringing down a platform with himself and the other goons, creating a thrilling splash as they land in the water below. Dom is a wonderful vision, 
where Jack is teaching him and Jacob as children about fixing cars. He sees little Brian eagerly asking him when he is coming home. He then sees a memory in which he witnessed Jack handling a challenging phone call, which supports Jacob's claims about their difficulties. Just when it seems like Dom is on the verge of giving up, Landy fearlessly dives into the water and saves him. Otto successfully launches a satellite into orbit, which will greatly contribute to improving control of errors. They also encourage L to activate it. They confidently navigate their armor truck through the vibrant streets of Tbilisi as the heroes eagerly progress towards that very location. Tej and Roman embark on an exciting mission as they utilize a rocket car atop a drone to reach orbit and attempt to neutralize the satellite. The gang cleverly utilizes the villain's electromagnets to neutralize the approaching vans, ensuring Jacob and Otto's safety. Mia and Han successfully reach the truck with El inside and overcome the goons guarding her. Dom successfully catches up to Jacob and engages in a brief fight with him. However, their confrontation takes an unexpected turn when Otto reveals his true allegiance and betrays Jacob, joining forces with Cypher. The heroes successfully magnetize their car to the truck, ensuring a safe escape for Jacob and with the help of Dom and Mia. Dom then ingeniously devises a brilliant plan to magnetize the car to the front of the truck and with Jacob's invaluable assistance, they skillfully execute it, successfully flipping the car upwards and safely removing them from the city. Ares is almost finished uploading, and even though Tej and Roman's car break down, they find a way to take out the satellite and cut the link. In the outskirts of the city, Dom and Otto are together in the truck, facing a thrilling chase as Cypher sends a drone their way. With incredible timing, Dom successfully leaves out of the truck just as she fires a blast. Otto's presence inside the truck leads to a powerful explosion, resulting in the trucks colliding with Cypher's drone. Determined to learn from her defeat, she makes her triumphant getaway once more. Meanwhile, some lucky astronauts from a space station have the incredible opportunity to encounter Tej and Roman. Dom and Jacob finally bury the hatchet, bringing an end to their conflict. They part ways with Dom and Mia once more, ready to embrace new adventures and opportunities. After returning home, Dom joyfully takes little Brian to the racetrack where Jack used to race. One last flashback beautifully portrays teenage Dom and Jacob supporting each other after Jack's passing, highlighting the enduring love between them. The gang is having another amazing barbecue, and this time, Santos, Don Omar, is joining them. Han joyfully brings El, and he joyfully reunites with Sean, Twinkle, and Earl. Just as everyone is getting ready to say grace, they eagerly await the arrival of one more guest, Brian. During the credits, Deckard Shaw, Jason Statham, is seen training his skills by punching a bag, showcasing his determination and strength. Then to his surprise, there's a knock at his door, and he is greeted by Han, whom he thought he had lost forever. Okay, that's all for the recap for F9, The Fast Saga. Thank you for watching.